I am going to attempt some savory monkey bread, I guess. I don't know. We are going to spray this pan. Now, this is really good because this is avocado spray and there are no chemicals in it. So it's pretty much just like avocado oil and there's like air pressure in it. And so nothing bad for you. You can spray it directly on food. Not bad. Okay. So I'm going to take two cans of the jumbo biscuits. They always make me scream. Hoping that doesn't happen. Um, did it? Let me jump. But okay, two cans of these biscuits have been hard to find lately. I mean, they were hard to find, and then ah! oh, jeez. See, I mean, sometimes I'm ready for it, and sometimes I'm not, and I was not ready for that one. So to startle you a little bit. Okay. All right, hold on. Okay, and then you're just gonna quarter these. So I'll do a few and then I'll turn it off so you don't have to watch the whole time. I would like to do that like lightning speed. So it doesn't really matter. Some are the flaky butter, some aren't. I bought what they had because again, they were slim pickings. That one pretty much blew up at me. And then, you know, just pick them apart. Throw them in there. I'm going to put that on there. So I'm going to do that with all of them. Cut them up. And then we're going to mix them up and put some stuff with them. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to put all... Oh, you can't even see. All right. Um, right. I'm going to put these quarters in a bowl. I'm going to spray the bowl though. Just so they don't stick. And look like they're sticking to those. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. Now, you can put butter, but I thought, you know why? You're going to have enough um, and this, I think, zero calories. You're going to have enough other fats and stuff in there. So we are just going to put the oil on there. And now that's kind of what it looks like. And I'm gonna put in, I took 16 meatballs. Now I probably would have used pepperoni, but I didn't have any. So you use what you have. 16 meatballs, put them in, they were frozen put them in the microwave just for a little bit, got them where I could cut them. So I'm going to put that in there, mix that up in there. I am going to put some Italian seasoning. I'm going to take that lid off because that'll take me 10 years to do that. I put a teaspoon of Italian seasoning in there and we used this yesterday and it was a big hit. Do a teaspoon of onion onion from Tastefully Simple. And a teaspoon of parsley. Teaspoon and a half of parsley. And a teaspoon of garlic garlic from Tastefully Simple. and a eight ounces of mozzarella cheese and because i'm just winging this i had a little bit left of this mozzarella cheese i'm throwing it in because really truly once you open cheese that's from new year's um if you don't use it if you don't use it it's gonna go yuck so i mean if you have extra cheese it's not gonna be a big deal so i wish i was taller Mix it all up, get all that going, and you're gonna put it in your pan. Okay, we are ooh, gonna put it in our pan. Gonna kind of just fill it in here. I 
open like this is not too much stuff and it overflows. It could. What are you going to do? And I know the bread will expand a bit. <clears throat> I'm baking it at 350 and I'm not going to tell you the minutes because I don't know. We'll see how long it takes. I put it on the lower shelf. Well, one up in case that it rises. We'll see. Okay. And I sprayed it really good because I feel like I needed to. So it comes out unless we're going to dig with a fork. All right. That's what it looks like. It's filled to the rim. We shall see. I'm going to get the sauce ready. I never like pizza sauce because it's so thick and gross. So I always use spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce. So I just got this roasted garlic and onion and it's thinner. However, if it's in the can versus the jar, there's a little secret with um, tomato based canned things. Okay. So what I would do is put some in here because I'm going to heat it up. I'm not going to need all this. So I would typically make some spaghetti or I don't know, maybe we'll use that later, but it's going to taste tinny because that's just what it is. I mean, if it's not in the jar, um, it's going to taste tinny. And so a little trick is to put some sugar in it and it takes the tin taste out. However, we don't want to add sugar, so we'll just use some stevia, and we'll just put a little packet of stevia in here, so we're not adding sugar, um, sugar per se, and that is the little trick to take the tin taste out. So when making chili or spaghetti sauce, and if you're using cans of, well, and not even just tomato, hey, or tomato stuff. Um, beans sometimes taste tinny and you know what I'm saying, right? If you bake, I mean, if you cook, you know what I'm talking about. So beans sometimes taste tinny and that's what I do. I mean, I don't just put one. If you don't mind sugar, go ahead and throw some sugar in it. It will totally take out the tin taste. Uh, but if you are watching your sugar or really don't want the calories, then put stevia packets in it and it will totally take out this. And it, it's not like it tastes sweet. Don't worry. It, it'll be fine, but it'll take out the tin taste and uh, no one will be any the wiser because no one is at my house and no one is when I make it and I've won chili contests. So um, it's fine. It'll be fine. No tin taste. That's how you get rid of it and it'll be all good. So we're still baking that and um when it comes out, I will get it out and show you what it looks like. Okay, it took a little longer than it's expected. It took 52 minutes. Well, look how pretty. It smells so good. 52 minutes. I'm gonna let it cool for a couple seconds. We'll be right back and go flip it. So 52 minutes at 350. Looks good. It's got a hole in it because I kept poking it to make sure it was done. Okay. Um, I did have to loosen it a little with a spatula. And here we go. Ooh. All righty. We have some. That looks good, doesn't it, Jamie? No, it doesn't. You don't think it looks good? No. Boy, whatever. I mean, at first glance, a kid might think, hey, that looks like a chocolate cake. <laughs> but when you take a closer look at it. What? It's like a... Well, I don't want to say it. What? Hmm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, let me get a knife that cuts. It does not look like that, Jamie. Does it? No. No, I, mean, I think it's like you... bigger than it. <laughs> yeah, look, we'll probably. use a serrated knife. 
Now you could cut it or pull it apart, I think. Either way. Ooh. Sounds like you're cutting bread, right? I know it has like a meatball in it. Yeah, so you could cut it or pull it apart, whichever way. I'm just going to, I mean, you really could pull it apart, truly. It is hot. You might want to let it sit a second or five. I think the sound of it cutting, I think it's not just the best thing about it. But my, my family is hungry. So we will, look at that. Yum. Oh, you can also explain to that. That looks like a cake. A chocolate cake with a, uh, with a vanilla. All right, filling. so maybe we, if we pull it apart, it won't look like cake. How about that? You think? It won't? If we just a will pull we, it apart. We just got to get close to look at it. it yeah, I see the texture. Okay, come here. What? I don't Let, know. Like if we pulled it apart, then it doesn't maybe look like. No, it does even more. You think? Yeah, look at that. That looks like some cake thing right there. I don't know. It's very hot. Very, very, very hot. Let's get a fork. So what's that sausage? Shall you put in it? I just put meatballs. Oh, that just looked like that sausage we were eating. And what? That sausage we were eating. Oh, kielbasa? No, it's not kielbasa. Take a picture of that. We like that. That. Okay, I want you to try it. No, I know how to cook food. What? I know. I'm just getting you. No. I'm going to try it too. Here, I got you a fork. So? All right. We're going to, we're going to, well, I don't want to not have it on. It's hot. So don't, it's hot. Get over here, boy. Mm. What do you think? Mm. It's really hot, right? No. No? Oh, I don't know. I mean, for me, it's not. Mm -mm. No, it's not that hot. What do you think? It's like, yeah, you don't really taste the bread. It's like a, it's like a fluffy meat. Hmm. It's like uh, you know, like the easier bread is because that you can eat it easily. Mm. It's fluffy. Here, come over but here. And also, talk. I'm not gonna talk. to the people. I'm also talking. I'm talking to the people. Okay. Well, they want to see you. No, they. All right, go on. All right. So what now? Look at that. So like, you know, so good. It's like fluffy because you can eat it easily. Mm -hmm. It has this flavor, but it's not that strong. And the meat takes over the flavor of the whole bread. Mm -hmm. So the bread tastes like a fluffy meat. Okay. There you have it, folks. All right. Well, it is very good. Now, would you eat it again or do you like it? Or yeah, no? I did like it. Okay. What would by, you? By the texture, I didn't think I would. What would you rate it? No. Damn it. I got him. What would you rate it? I'm not doing that. Since you put my what would you rate camera. it? I'm not doing that now. Okay, what would you rate it though? <laughs> You're never gonna know. What would you rate it? Never gonna know. <sighs> okay, anyways. So that is just, and I feel like we could eat that with green beans or corn. I don't know. Something. All right. Over and out. Have a good night.